Welcome back to Spartan Stadium. It's halftime. It's 35 nothing, as you can see. The Mavbrook Spartans on top of the Jaguars from J.O. Johnson. As the Mountain Brook Band and the Dorians are taking the field for their halftime performance. Let me see some halftime numbers. Mountain Brook with 237 yards in the first half. Um, Trying to make out some of this. <laughs> Shribble Reese was eight of nine for 76 yards. A couple of fumble recoveries by the defense. Just a great all around performance. Now let's enjoy the Mountain Brook Spartan Band of the Dorians.
job by the Mount Brook Band and the Dorians. Looking good tonight. I'm sure they're happy for the, uh, the dry weather. Hot and humid, but I always like to see them get a chance to perform without any sort of rain or anything. I know we're supposed to have a special presentation here, and I thought it was supposed to happen now. I'm looking for uh, Peggy Faircloth and her breeze is. I, uh, I don't see her anywhere, but Peggy has been to. There she is. And now that I see her, I see her now. Uh, there, uh, Vic Wilson's helping her out of the stands, but uh, everybody knows who Peggy Faircloth is. Uh, the most loyal Spartan fan. Was it 340 four? games? Yeah. Tonight's game is, is game number 340. Almost, there's a great shot of Peggy right there coming down the stands, down the uh, steps there on the arm of uh, one of our assistant principals, Vic Wilson. There's no more loyal Spartan fan than Peggy. She, this is game number 340 for her, and so. Uh, Got the colors on. Yes, she does. <laughs> she sure does. And uh, Ben Hudson, the other. Uh, assistant principal gives her that uh, bouquet of flowers. Nice shot of Peggy right there. And she's usually accompanied by her husband, Bob Faircloth, Judge Bob Faircloth and uh, Robert Faircloth. He, he's uh, almost always with Peggy, but he's a Florida State fan, and occasionally he'll head down and watch oh, the Seminoles yeah. play. But uh, Peggy's been watching Mountain Brook High School football since uh, the early 70s, long time. Con consistently Consecu consecutive. Con not missed a game. Yes. Not miss As a matter of fact, uh, when her daughter, I, I think it's either daughter or, or, or there's another good shot of her. At the rehearsal party, Peggy left early to come to a Mountain Brook football game. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you call fan loyalty. That's right. Sweet lady, and uh, we're glad she sits on our side every Friday night. Peggy Faircloth, 340 games, Mountain Brook High School football. But you know, you know, Eddie, I've been fortunate enough since, since I've been a, a part of it. Uh, we've had so much success year after year. But you know, some of those some of those times over that span of time, it, it wasn't always going so well on the field, but she's out there every every game anyway. Peggy and Bob have been to, have followed Mountain Brook High School when they went two and eight and three mm -hmm. and seven and five and five and one and nine and a couple of years where they went seven and three and eight and two, but uh, you're right.